So the first thing we're going to go do is go to pixlr.com, P-I-X-L-R, and you're going to select the Pixlr editor. The first options you're presented with are to create a new image, open an image from a computer, open an image from a URL, or open an image from the library. And lastly, use Pixlr on your mobile. We're going to open an image from the library. Now, at this point, you're going to want to set up a account. The first three options don't require a login, but this one does. So you're going to log in with your Google account. You should make sure you use your school Google account. If you don't have, don't want to log in, you can always do this later and select one of the first three options. So after you log in with your Google account, Pixar's going to ask you two questions. They're going to ask you if it's okay to see your email address and is it okay to see your basic information. If you agree, press accept. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to make a new image. You can do this from the file menu. If you already have an image to work on, or you would like to use one of the URL in public domain, you can search for an image with the URL. I'm going to make a new image. I'm going to make a banner for my website. So I'm going to choose a banner size. Then you can make the window bigger that you're working on by grabbing the tool in the lower right hand side. And you can zoom in a little bit using the window in the upper right hand side. On the left we have a toolbar and across the top is a menu bar. Both of these have tools which are very similar to that found in other photo shopping tools. If you want to add an image to your banner, you can get the image from the URL, but you need to make sure it is one that you have the fair use of. I can do a Google search for dragons, for example, for dragon free images, and find several free stock photo websites. So when I choose one, I can see that it may not actually be free. This one's $2.30 a day to get a free seven day trial. Um, but if it's an image you really like, you might want to just buy it. So here's another example, Canstock. And you can see that they charge for different size photos. And I, if I want, I can buy it and then use it um, as I want. We'll talk more about copyright later. Sometimes it's just better to make your own stuff. So the next step is uh, the tools on the left hand side. Uh, they have the ability to add text or paint gradients. The windows on the right hand side control the layers of your images, the zooming of your images, and some other effects. So I'm just going to do my name here. And maybe throw in a nice little gradient. And there I go. I have my banner. So when you're ready, you can save your file and you can save it to your computer or if you've signed into Pixlr, you can use the Pixlr library folder.
I'm all saved. Now you also have the use of many different effects and filters from this top menu bar. I recommend going ahead and exploring them and seeing what you can do. You can also look on YouTube for videos of how to use these different effects. These are very um, standard effects and you can find lots of tutorials about how to use them. Another way um, to get help is if you go to the upper right hand side you'll see one of the menu buttons says help. When you click on the help that takes you to Pixlr's help support page. And it's pretty straightforward to use. Just type in a question and hit search. If there is a response to your question that is already posted you will find a listing of comments that you can read through and helpfully find your information. If you can't find the information you need, then you can just post your own question and the support people will get back to you relatively quickly. Uh, just make sure you keep coming back and checking the site. I think you can also set it up so it sends you an email. Once you're all done, you have your banner.